Well, for a closer look at President Trump's infrastructure plan and public-private partnerships, let's bring in Sean Monaghan. He's a board member and partner with A.T. Kearney and also leader of the firm's operations and performance transformation practice. Welcome to the show. Good, good afternoon. Good evening, <laughs> Rachel. Now, let's Rachel. start with a look at Trump's trillion-dollar infrastructure plan. It appeared to be one of the administration's top priorities, but where does it stand right now? Well, today it stands a little bit better than it did uh, a couple months ago. If you recall, during the election process, uh, the infrastructure was one of Donald Trump's uh, key initiatives. Uh, back in April, uh, there was some announcement that in May we'd see uh, some more details. And then finally, a couple weeks ago during the infrastructure week, we began to see those details come out uh, in the plan. But uh, depending upon who you, who you think of, uh, some people think it's still lacking in detail. Now, in terms of the speed of getting this legislation passed, how bipartisan of an issue is infrastructure? I think infrastructure is about as uh, important a policy as one could think of. Uh, it should be getting bipartisan support across um, both sides of the aisle. Unfortunately, you're seeing uh, differences in opinion on how that should be funded, and then also some of the other challenges with le legislature kind of getting in the way of moving it forward. And what are the biggest critiques when it comes to how this is being funded? Okay. So some of the biggest critiques, everyone talks about there's a trillion dollar in funding that uh, is being put forward, but of that trillion dollars, only 200 uh, trillion of that is going to be funded in direct federal funding, uh, with the remaining 800 trillion teed up to be through private partner, private public partnerships, um, as you had mentioned. Uh, but when we come to the 200 trillion, uh, there's a mixed opinion, because as you look at uh, the forward funding and other plans, looking at fast track uh, plans, the uh, highway infrastructure plans, the Highway Trust Fund, uh, civil, the uh, uh, Army Corps of Engineers and other funding cuts that are currently in the budget, um, about $200 trillion is coming out as we're putting forward $200 trillion in funding. So some people think it's a net, a net uh, wash. Now, we've already seen the president's uh, request from Congress to privatize the country's air traffic control system. But how broad will the spectrum be in terms of what this money is spent on? Yeah, that's one of still the unknown questions. Uh, there was recently a report done by the American Society of Civil Engineers that teed up a need for a trillion dollars in road infrastructure, true logistics infrastructure, road, bridges, railway, uh, and ports. Right now, it looks like the trillion dollar, as it's being put forward, will not only be teed up for that, but also things like broadband, VA hospitals, so a much broader purview of what would be characterized as infrastructure. And in terms of how this will be received by the public, what's your take on public-private partnerships in, in terms of achieving this overhaul in transportation? Yeah, again, that's a, a bit of a very mixed view on, on different people. Um, you know, right now, when you think about uh, private funding, uh, those investors are looking for some type of return. And unfortunately, profitable infrastructure doesn't always equal necessary infrastructure. Um, so we could see those funds, while they could be useful, um, being geared towards things that may not necessarily close all the gaps that we need. Um, but as we think about it, there's really a need for a balance. There needs to be federal funding across all levels, state funding, as well as public-private partnerships. So then if you're not sure about the returns, if you're FedEx and you're looking at this plan, what's in it for them? Well, again, it's, it's necessary. <clears throat> uh, so there needs to be a way to find that funding. And if we can't get it through normal budgetary um, processes, then we need to look for alternatives. And that's where public-private partnerships can come in to help fill some of that gap. Um, but as we said, we need to look at what's the return that those investors are looking for. And you know, will that close some of the gaps that may be uh, you know, needed and necessary, but unfortunately will not generate the return they're looking for. Now, as we've obviously seen in, in recent months, the president already has a pretty full plate agenda-wise. When can we expect to get a more detailed blueprint of this plan? Well, thus far, you know, as it has been the case for a couple of months, they say it's coming. Right now, the current uh, promises that will be coming in the third quarter of this year. Um, but already, you know, with all the delays we've seen before, um, I think we'll still be looking beyond that. There's still perhaps a ways to go. Thank still you so much, Sean Monaghan, board member and partner with A.T. Kearney. Okay.